food. So we're out here on Sunday, uh, the 27th, and we're going to start backfilling for the foundation. Backfill behind the house and the left side and the right side, and we got a lot of topsoil, which turns into muck. So we're going to take all this topsoil and put it on the topsoil and backfill with the fill dirt in front of the house so we get rid of all this extra water so the contractors aren't carrying all the lumber which we've got our lumber package in so they don't have to carry all that through the mud and muck once that's all done we'll rent a compactor next weekend and backfill the garage and compact the garage and hopefully have a house built shortly Well, I've been working on backfilling and you can see that I got 90% of the backfill around the foundation done. And that pile of dirt is topsoil, which we will save with a pile of dirt that's way over there. And we'll use that dirt backfill the garage with but we got to go rent a compactor to do that so we can pour a concrete slab on top of it and once we get all the dirt moved the big piles of dirt and these lumber packages are mostly gone we will do the final grade which will Get all these extra little piles of dirt away from the foundation. This is the new house. There's our garage. And what will be the entryway. And Aaron's over there in our daughter's bedroom. Walking into the living room, and over there in the far corner is the bedroom, master bedroom, and this is the dining room here, there, and the walls will be put up. There's a few more walls to come up tomorrow, and this is the den over here, and the prep kitchen, which will be here. And the kitchen's over there. And this is one of the doors that goes out to the back patio. The half bath. Master bedroom. There's our view out our what will be a window. And there's Aaron. It's kind of impressive. They got a lot done in a short amount of time.